I love these dry, dry haircuts. They're so great to for beginners to know because when they get out and when they actually do the hair and they see that they need to fix something, this is a quick way to clean up any mistakes. Or, in this case, you I can see. cut black hair and not have to worry about scissor lines. I see this technique at the shows a lot because they have to do quick haircuts yes. and deliver results. Exactly. And, and plus, when you do it this way, your hair gets a little bit more body. Yeah. Yeah, and so I could, I could actually elevate her a little bit more as we get to the mid-tier. This is the interior. Interior of the hair has the most amount of hair in that, in that area, in that section, which causes a lot of people to look a little bit over, a little bit more round. Mm. So this is why we remove it, then it becomes skinny. That's why you're able to see that blonde hair grow transform real quick. Now, what's good about this is, you guys, when you get to this part, you can actually pick up a section. Okay. Sorry. And give it a little bezel without having to layer lines. You got mistakes. This, you just kind of elevate. Right? Take the corner out one time. We'll take a section like this. We'll be able to come up. Okay. You can see the weight here. See the short length? Your guidelines there. Your weight's up here. You're trying to remove this weight. Back home. Drop those bottom scissors because you're not you're not trying to cut that part. You're trying to cut it in here. When you get here, just stroke it a little far. Get it? <coughs> See it? So I haven't really, and then just after you drop that, seamless. Skinny haircuts start this way. If you can't get a skinny haircut without knowing how to do this technique. So I'm going to show you guys in slow motion to learn this and practice, because it's not that hard for you to go Okay, here's my guy. I can't cut that. This is what I want to remove. But I got to pull. I'm going to do this real quick. Get rid of that so I don't cut that. Then I'm going to go. I'm, all I'm doing is rocking it back and forth, guys. That's it. Until that's gone. That top corner. And then when you go to like this, it's nice and smooth. Yes. And if you want to give her more body, you can take it up. Watch. I don't even have to look. I just feel it. Okay. I feel the hair in my hand coming up. Nice. See that? Then when you move, when you leave that down, guess what? When she uses hairspray, curling iron, volumizer, bam, it comes right up. So you make fine hair thicker and you make thick hair thinner. Remember I told you guys not to lose those corners in the front? <coughs> Here's how you not to lose it. You take the client hair, you direct, pull it, you over direct it all the way to the back. <laughs> then if you, when you cut this, when you let it go, you go up front versus if I cut it here, you're going to lose that corner. So anytime you're cutting long hair, when it comes to your side panels, go straight to the back. 
like that. Okay? You go to the forward and cut it this way, you lose that corner. A lot of models, a lot of long-haired girls, they, if you take their corners off, they cry. <laughs> so remember that. It's, you guys are getting a fans cutting one on one. <laughs> Take this and over direct it over here so I don't lose her corner. Once you know hair placement, it's so much easier for you guys to, to be more, have freestyle. Okay, this is more freestyle. It's not really technical because it's, it's all about feeling way through the hair and using your uh, eyes as a visualization to actually accomplish the goal. What do we normally want to do when we do crown area? What do most girls want? Like starting point. You get a dye box. Mm -hmm. Here you go. This is what I'm, I'll show you how you create volume without taking a lot of length off. Okay. Like look, her side, her corner count goes flat like this. You can actually pick this corner, pull calic up. And you can see to give her more volume there, so it's not so flat. Now it won't, you know, a lot of the time that solves the problem. Ideas to solve, so get solutions, and you have to kind of use your head on this one and your technical skills. And these are the areas that you, they never, people never cut anyway, so when they see a lot of hair on the floor, they, they kind of go, oh, that's a lot of hair, but you know what? It's coming from where you don't need it. It's not coming from your length. That's why, you know, be very careful. Let them know that. Okay, now you can check your work. Okay. Clean up those ends if you like. And you could do a dry cut an hour, or you could do it in 10 minutes. What do you charge for an hour? You can get that when you have the clientele that trusts you. <laughs> My first job was at Regis Hair Salon. You ever work? For, uh, good place to start. You guys want to know? Where is it? Mel Regis uh, Hair Salon? They're all in malls. Mm -hmm. There's 1,200 of them. There's so many of them throughout the country. It's like a supercut? No. A little higher in. And what you want to do when you use a flat iron, 
you're not trying to pull down, okay? Always go up. Uh, people don't realize this, but flat ironing is 90 degrees. You need to bump your roots. And you can't bump your roots doing this. Let me show you. When I say bump your roots, people do this. You are scraping the hair cuticle when you do that. You need to put the flat iron in and go, let it glide up and let it fall out. You can feel it. It's, you, you're, it's so easy to put it in your roots and go straight 90 degree out. And what this will do is it'll give you volume at the root and smoothness at the ends without the fish hooks or the scrapage. If you go, you don't want to drag, you just want to glide. And this will give you the volume that you need at the root and the smoothness at the end. And that's how you use a flat iron. Proper techniques, very important. Um, even the smallest techniques will make a change, huge change. Like when you're finishing, watch the crown area. You just want to go straight up. And when it comes down, that's normal because you guys would do that anyway because it's the crown. You go up anyway. Well, you do that with everything. You don't, even the back, you would go up and you bump it up. And then the glide out. And it falls flat. Not so that's perfect because otherwise, and when you, with the invisible, with this haircut, you notice that the messier it gets, it actually looks better.